nobody need to see that. Oh man, I really want to do a voice. Howdy there. Um, I've been playing Stardew Valley and uh, I believe I'm a farmer in my soul. That's the problem you see. <sighs> okay, okay. Hello, I'm Rebecca and this is Rapacious Reads. Wow, that was so solemn. Oh my gosh, chill. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing the My Pleasures book tag created by Steve Partridge. And I was tagged by Super Pow, um, Paulina. And uh, thank you. <laughs> and so I will start right away. Okay, so the first pleasure is to think. A book that made you think hard. Um, so for this one, I'm gonna go with Behind the Beautiful Forevers, uh, Life, Death, and Hope in a Mumbai Undercity. So this just made me think about urban poverty because normally when you think of object poverty, you think, of little kids with flies pasted on their face in Africa um, but this was about like people in Mumbai who lived in the outer city they collect garbage to sell and they're living in like these overcrowded places and it's not a real city the government doesn't take care of them there's no like structure in society which is weird that places like that actually exist which which made me think, um, because that's not something that I see here in Canada. Um, okay, the, the second pleasure is to love. Um, a book that broke or mended your heart. Um, and for this, I shall go with Outlander by Dan Diana Gabaldon. Well, and also the second one. And the reason is, okay, so when you read like Twilight, it's emotions, but heightened and Outlander does that too, but for adults. So instead of like a long distance relationship, it's a relationship through time. And it's a heightened, elevated version of a long distance relationship because there's no way they can contact each other. Um, and it, it elevates um, LDRs, which is, which is nice. I, I appreciate that. Um, the third pleasure is to eat a book that nourishes you. And for this one, I went with something that is actual food. I went with, <coughs> whoa, hold please. I went with China Rich Girlfriend by Ken Kwan. This is the second in the uh, um, Crazy Rich Asian series. By the way, the movie comes out in like August. I am kind of excited. I mean, Rachel is like the worst character and Connie, Connie Lang, I wanna say, is like the best actress. I just wish she wasn't Rachel. I wish she was Astrid. Um, but anyway, <laughs> in the books, um, food is like this decadent, expensive experience. Um, they import products from all over the place. They won't even drink tap water. They import spring water from Lucerne. They, and they're living in Singapore. <laughs> They import truffle products and they anything to make it more expensive, like quail eggs and just these decadent meals. Um, so that is something that nourishes me with, with luxury. Um, the fourth pleasure is to laugh, um, a book that brought comic relief. Now I've heard some people on booktube complain that they don't just, they just don't laugh about books. Um, but y'all need to read nonfiction. Nonfiction is hilarious. So for this one, I've gone with Elements of Eloquence by Mark Forsyth. And this is, um, it's about literary devices, but he uses them while he explains them and he's just funny. It's, it's like, I just remember giggling the entire time I read this book. I was extremely rude, just sitting there by myself giggling. I recommend it. Uh, <laughs> The next pleasure is sex. A book that explores sexuality in a way that doesn't make you cringe. So you guys know I like romance novels. Sexuality never makes me cringe, okay? So for this one, I'm gonna step it up, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a book that um, doesn't make anyone cringe, okay? And for this one, I've gone with, drum roll please, um, Evolutionary Psychology. Um, and this is the, a book that I read for psych class. 
this book. It attributes every single human motivation back to sex and I love it. Um, my friends hate that I reference this book and even this school of theory. They're like, Rebecca, you can't attribute like a socialized animal like to sexualized um, motivations, but yes, you can. Like this book claims that altruism doesn't exist because there's no reason for you to get sex out of it. This book c claims that um, terrorism is sexually motivated because terrorists um, gain prestige for committing acts of terror, which could help their family um, continue their lineage. Or if they survive a terror attack, they will get a better mate out of it. So this book is insane. I don't know about evolutionary psychology, but I love it. Uh, the next pleasure is To Rest, a book that gives you peace, reflection, or calms you down. And um, so I ha I'm estranged from my father and there was a point in my life where he came back and I had to make the decision to cut him out of my life. And a book that helped me get through that with calmness and reflection was Mindfulness and Compassion, Embracing Life um, with Loving Kindness by the Happy Buddha. So this, this just, I think, is a way of approaching your emotions and not like hiding from them. Like, yes, you're gonna feel sad. Deal with it, like feel it. That's not a bad thing. And uh, I just think that's a healthy way of dealing with emotions. So that is my go-to peaceful book. Um, the next book is, or the next pleasure is Experience. A book that introduced you to a new subject or changed your perspective on an old one. Okay, so I could have gone super deep on this one, but no guys, this is my pleasure book tag. This is my like shallow, luxurious, enjoyable, except for the first one, Mumbai and Understudy, what am, what am I thinking? Anyway, um, for experience, I've gone with The Judgment of Paris, California versus France, and the historic 1976 Paris tasting that revolutionized wine. That's right. It's about wine tasting. <laughs> okay, well actually, it's not about wine tasting. It's about growing wine and the cultivation and the differences between Californian and, um, and French wines. They also talk about German wines and sort of where grapes are sourced from and soils and aridity and... Uh, <laughs> um, and so now when Sony talks about Mondavi wine, I know the producer of that wine because he was talked about in this book. And uh, I think it just elevates me to a new level of snobbiness, which I appreciate uh, for experience. <laughs> All right, so that has been my pleasure book tag. Um, and it was certainly a pleasure.